Hi, I'm James Ward, a technical evangelist for Flex at Adobe. So I've been using Linux for a long time and been doing Flex development on Linux for a long time as well. Uh, and just recently I had the chance to check out IntelliJ and see how that works for Flex development. And uh, it's really great for Flex development on Linux. Uh, it provides all the basics for doing Flex development, you know, code completion and compiling and debugging and those sorts of things. Uh, so I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of how to create a new Flex project in IntelliJ. Uh, I'm using their kind of pre-release of IntelliJ um, IDEA, uh, also codenamed IDEA X, uh, just for the next version. Uh, so what you can do is just go in and create a new project here uh, in IntelliJ. And you can either create it from scratch, uh, start with an existing model, so that would allow you to actually import a project from Flash Builder, Flex Builder. I'll create one from scratch and just give this a name flex and uh, then you can specify the the module so the way that IntelliJ works is you have kind of a base project and then uh, inside of that project you have one or more modules uh, so one of the modules that you can use in IntelliJ uh, is this ActionScript Flash Flex module uh, and that will give you the support for, for compiling uh, the application there uh, and you could, of course, have a Java module and a Flex module uh, in the, the same project, and uh, that would allow you to set up you know, Java server and um, put BlazeDS or whatever you want in that, uh, and then talk from the Flex project to that and debug it and have it all, um, have all the code in the same environment. So if I walk through this wizard, we get uh, some, some options here. What I've done is I've set up the Flex SDK here, uh, and a number of them actually. Um, they have kind of different options here for uh, a Flex SDK and an Air SDK being um, kind of different entities in this, this list of SDKs. So uh, let's say that we have the Flex SDK 4.1, and then if we have the, uh, also the Air SDK uh, inside of that Flex SDK, um, the Flex SDK includes the Air SDK, then you'd actually have to, to create a different Air SDK, which just maps to the same place. So you can walk through and set up your SDKs pretty easily here. You can just go in and add a new one, specify the location of the SDK. Uh, pretty easy to do that. So if you go in and specify the SDK that you want to use, um, either an Air SDK if you're building a desktop project or the Flex SDK if you're uh, building a um, web application with Flex, um, then you can specify some options here for the target uh, player, uh, the sample uh, flex application will be created. Um, you can leave create run configuration checked. That will uh, allow you to, to not have to walk through another wizard to set up actually running the application. You could give it a, a custom compiler configuration. And uh, the default, uh, which happens with Flex Builder Flash Builder, is to create an HTML wrapper as well. So you can do that in IntelliJ. So that's great. So I hit finish. And now it'll actually walk me through setting up the HTML wrapper for this application. Uh, and so usually I come in and change a few options here. Uh, I don't like the wrapper.html. I'm going to give this fooflex.html as the name there. And then uh, some parameters on the application. I'm going to specify the width and height to be 100% and the uh, background color to be white. And then uh, I also have to respecify the, the minimum flash player required this time for the, the wrapper. Um, and I'll just make that 10.0 and then hit create. So it's automatically created for me uh, this MXML file uh, here that I can use. And uh, it's giving me some, some sample code there. Uh, I can save this. And then um, because that run configuration was already created, I can just hit this run button now. And that should launch my browser. There we go. And now we get that application there running in the browser. So that was that was pretty pretty basic. Uh, you could go in and also create action script files, uh, of course. So we can create another uh, class here, the action script class. Uh, and there's some really pretty cool things here in uh, IntelliJ. Uh, the the code generation stuff is is pretty nice. Code completion. Uh, it all re works really well with uh, the MXML and, and action script. Um, languages. So uh, really easy to get started. You know, debugging is just like uh, any other thing, you know, set a breakpoint and, and it'll pop up the debugger. Uh, so it all works really well. IntelliJ has done a, a great job 
of giving us a way to do flex development on Linux. Thanks for watching. Hope you check it out and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.